After World War I, the French Citron Company conducted extensive technical exploration on half-track vehicles and designed and produced many half-track vehicles around the 1920s, which were used for both civilian and military purposes. Next, we will interpret some stories from old photos. Frenchman Adolphe Cagresse obtained a patent for the half-track structure in 1913, but it was not initially widely used. In 1920, he sold the patent to Citron, which then designed and manufactured the Type A half-track vehicle. The vehicle in the photo is an early half-track vehicle of the company, probably driving down the hotel front steps for promotional effect. The half-track vehicle in the photo was a model introduced by the company from 1921 to 1924, and was the first commercially available vehicle. It was based on the K1 model built from the B2 prototype, and it could be used for winter tourism or agricultural purposes. In 1922, it was tested for travel in the North African desert. This is a military ambulance, which can hardly be considered a modification, as it simply had the passenger compartment slightly modified to accommodate stretchers. The size of the vehicle is not very large, as can be seen from the proportion of the front end, indicating a limited carrying capacity. However, the half-track structure provided better mobility and stronger off-road capabilities. This photo is easily understood, the nearby tourists indicate that it is a commercially available half-track vehicle used for driving in snowy winter conditions to serve tourists. The vehicle's front wheels are also equipped with skis. The photo above shows the P4T model half-track chassis, which is more mature in structure compared to the previous ones, with a slightly different walking structure more suitable for off-road driving. It was used not only for commercial purposes, but also for military use around 1924 to 1925. The P6 model half-track vehicle was a model that existed from 1924 to 1925, not intended for the market, originally designed for use on commercial routes in the North African desert. This vehicle used a four-cylinder engine and the track structure was adjusted, increasing the size of the drive and guide wheels to a diameter of 0.7 meters. This is a half-track vehicle from the same period as the P6 model, also not mass-produced, known as the P2T model. The track structure of the vehicle mostly followed the old style, but the length of the vehicle body increased significantly, with side panels added to store some items. The designs of Citron had some influence on other countries, and Denmark proposed a purchase contract to the company. The photo shows the P7T purchased by Denmark undergoing field testing, which does not appear to be for military use, but rather for testing purposes to verify the off-road driving capability of the half-track vehicle. However, Denmark's purchase quantity was not large, including only a few directly purchased or modified vehicles. The P-17 model civilian vehicle, as shown in the photo, effectively demonstrates the functionality of the half-track vehicle, which can serve a similar purpose to a tractor and is suitable for transporting goods such as wood in the field. It also indicates that the half-track vehicle has the capability to tow artillery. After several years of technical accumulation, the company introduced the more mature P-15N snow vehicle in 1928 as a multi-purpose passenger vehicle. The overall weight of the P-15N was approximately 1.6 tons, equipped with a six-cylinder engine and a four-speed gearbox. Later, the P-15NK was introduced and used for Antarctic exploration. The P-26 model half-track truck was built based on the popular C-6 model two-ton truck at the time. It could be converted to use wheels instead of tracks within a few hours, and the company offered a variety of different cargo box structures. However, the actual production quantity of this vehicle was very low. The P-21 model 3-ton truck was an engineering vehicle, similar to the P-21 model but with better overall performance. Citron was approved for production by the Ministry of Mines in 1936, but no sales records were found, and it likely was not actually mass-produced, as the half-track vehicle was not considered mainstream at the time.